service now idsm uh, vj so far what i know about uh, idsm to begin with is it is basically a Uh, something that manages end to end it delivery yeah. right uh, it is uh, idsm assist it teams uh, in in almost every task that is out there like for example planning designing building implementing deploying improvement of any support to customers or any support any it support that is required within the organization also yeah. it is pretty much the uh, it is it is kind of a strategic partner for the business itself and for the organization itself that it not only just uh, takes care of today's job but it also ensures that tomorrow also things are going to happen highly efficiently and that too with cost in a cost effective manner exactly uh, yeah. but this is something that i know from a very business point of view sure right yep. uh, i want you to go a little bit do deeper into itsm from a technical point of view and what really is itsm so ITSM is basically IT service management, as the name suggests. So it's basically a standard, structured, you know, uh, approach uh, which ITSM provides that allows you to deliver IT services effectively and ensuring you are minimizing downtime. You are being more proactive. You are actually, you know, uh, doing things in a collaborative manner where you are automating tasks, where you are leveraging. AI into the things. Uh, right. So that that's a new addition to ITSM. It wasn't there earlier, but yeah. So it is a kind of uh, kind of the process. So it's a structured approach that you can leverage to ensure you are delivering IT services within your team effectively, and you can take help of uh, collaboration, automations, workflows, basically to minimize your downtimes and do effective uh, management of your IT team itself only and be agile and uh, flexible enough to adopt to ever evolving needs of IT teams. Uh, currently, they are uh, evolving very frequently with AI and new things coming into the picture. So that's the thing. And if I talk about, you know, if we can look at the slide and then there is uh, one diagram, I think, which kind of helps us uh, better understand how ITSM fits into the picture. So if we move to the next slide, so in the next slide, you can see a diagram. So basically every business, uh, you know, have some kind of product and services that they are leveraging. That product and service is actually serving the organization and its people with, uh, you know, uh, certain processes, delivering certain values. Now those product and services will have to kind of rely on to some kind of, you know, IT systems. So there is IT system, there is, uh, you know, suppliers and there are partners which are actually delivering that. Now, with all of that, how do you manage and how do you synchronize between the actual organization needs and their issues and actually managing the IT as well along with it? So for that, we kind of leverage ITSM to create value for the customers. So that is what ITSM is. And if we talk about, you know, service now ITSM. So basically, it's an implementation of ITSM. So we talked about ITSM is a standard approach, a standard structured it's a process. Way of doing. It's a way of doing things. I service now ITSM actually implements that. It's a robust platform that allows us to do all of that. So right. yeah. So if we talk about you know what things we can do with it, uh, we can you know track our incidents. We can track our change requests. We can track our problems. So what incident is? Incident is like something which is happening within your team and your uh, your your team is facing some issues. So they will be logging an incident like we are facing this issue, and once you identify that issue is valid, you would be you know fixing it. And for fixing it, let's say there might be a need. Uh, we need to give this guy a additional license. We need to give an up upgraded system to this particular guy. We need to uh, change some permissions to this particular user for this particular thing. So they would be creating a change request for the same. And now let's say you are receiving many issues of certain type. Uh, let's call it you are receiving many issues where they are saying we are not able to access our uh, CRM portal itself only. Now that is a problem because more than 500 people has created that. So you can create a problem and then you can assign a team to actually identify the root cause so you can mitigate it. So you can create problem and then you can link it with incident. So you can do all of that. And we are not limited to that. Service now ITSM provides us a you know unified platform where we can do all of that and we have the capability to or do automations to do workflow 
with a low code platform where we can you know simply do point click there point click there and then we have the solution we have the workflow built for us so that is what service now itsm is in a gist and we are not with that you know with any business with any department you would be needing some kind of reports and dashboards to actually see how well they are performing where we are lacking how we need how we can improve this how we can reduce our incidents you know uh, rate how we can reduce the closure time so right. you will have to rely on the reports and dashboards so itsm provides that as well on top of the platform itself only and we do not need to go here and there so service now itsm is a one stop platform where you can deliver all the things that your it team needs to deliver in a manner where you are efficient flexible and adaptable to the ever evolving needs as well because with just point and click you can create new workflows new automations as well so that is what service now itsm is in a whole then there are multiple additional things as well for example you know uh, we have the capability to do uh, uh change management then we have uh, digital okay, process fine. management so those are the things that we discussed but i think i am going a little far ahead so we will be discussing them in features right. but before that th there is a, another one diagram that i wanted to kind of discuss so if we can look at it so uh, yeah so this diagram so this diagram is kind of depicting you know uh, if there are uh, multiple platforms or not multiple platform there are multiple it product or it services that a organization is utilizing if they do not have a single platform then what will happen is for each of the product for each of the services they will have a different kind of mechanism to handle it they will have a different kind of you know database where they are tracking it they have a different type of process which needs to link them but it's all disconnected and they are linking them via manual task or maybe via emails and everything so you will have this jargon type of a thing that you are viewing on the left hand side and you can you know see like okay there is uh, operate there is plan and there are multiple databases there are multiple you know email actions happening and all of that but with a platform like service now you have a single platform that you can leverage with shared data model with shared intelligence with shared workflows and you can run all of those things from just one platform itself and only you know shared intelligence is like you know having the clarity this did not work this also did not work so like the crm portal access did not work for this particular team and then we are facing some issues there they are not able to access this application as well which allows them to run marketing campaigns so there might be certain issues so with shared intelligence you can actually leverage that and ensure we are doing things effectively and we are actually sorting the things because there might be an issue in the training itself of that particular team that they are facing those kind of issues okay so shared intelligence actually helps us allow that if that won't be there then it will only come up when you actually sit down create your reports manually because you don't have a platform and then you are realizing the problem typically occurs with this team uh, there must be something that this team is doing wrong other than as compared to the 12 other things so we can identify that with shared intelligence you know early on not doing all of those reporting and everything we can identify it early on so that is what service now itsm is and how it actually helps uh, so vijay from uh, such uh, you know detailed uh, understanding that you gave me of itsm what i have been able to understand is that it is basically answer to all the it problems that might exist yeah. out there uh, and of course very much reactive in nature uh, but um, it solves everything from incident management to problem management to change management to service level management also but of course we will get deep into all of these yes. things a little bit later and in demo as well in the demo as we well. will see ai as well in the demo so yes. you know have we have some high level idea okay how it works and everything so to everybody uh, in the viewership who who has faced any issue uh, be it the minutest of the issue or something you know that is not letting them get more productive or not letting their teams getting more productive i think itsm is something that can somewhere help you out in increasing the productivity because it is pretty much an answer to almost all of the it problems that exist out there i think i'll also like to quote one example here uh, to you know give a perspective to people when when you uh, you know talk about uh, 
unavailability of uh, right uh, equipments or unavailability of yeah. right systems so let's take an example this is strictly for people who are not from technical pro- background but still want to understand what uh, what we really mean here so for example a sales representative joins your team all right and that sales representative is expected to constantly travel to different partners in order to strengthen your partnerships with them but uh, your it team is not aware of that and what they end up doing is is that they providing is that when the individual uh, raises a request for a system they ends up providing them a very monitor and cpu kind of a sin- system instead of a laptop so that uh, somewhere uh, reduces the productivity of the individual because when that individual is traveling they will not be able to uh, they will not be able to access their systems they will not be able to access their documents and will not be able to pitch the clients better so that's how itsm in a very minutest way come in, comes into the picture that it pretty much enhances the productivity of almost every business operation and business process that is out there uh, sales representative is a very small example into this but uh, but you can understand how even the smallest of mismanagement or smallest of siloed information here and there can create such huge problems for people who are working at a ground level right yeah okay uh, so uh, this is you know what basically itsm and what service now itsm meant <laughs>